Greetings and salutations, brownies. Welcome to another episode. And let's just dive right in to the story. And then just stick around for the end so I can, you know, give some explanation for everything. Okay, so two and a half years ago, I moved from one location to where I currently live. And I remember I had to take public transportation to the Greyhound station to get on that bus to come to where I live right now. So, I pack up all my stuff, say goodbye to all my friends one last time, and I get on this bus to go to Greyhound to travel. So, you know, I'm sitting on the bus, listening to my music, blocking out the world like any millennial, and I feel these eyes staring at me. Now, because I look different, I am used to people staring at me because they're curious and they either have not been raised or trained or they're too nervous to just come up to me and ask me why I look so different or why I'm in a chair regardless. Anyway, this woman, I feel her eyes on me and because I'm used to this, I don't want to bother me too much. I try to ignore it, but she, her stare was so pensive that I could not ignore it. I could just feel it on me and it was horrible. And it got to the point where I finally took my earbuds out and I looked at her and I tried to be as respectful as possible. I'm like, excuse me, ma'am, what are you staring at? And she said, oh, nothing. And I'm like, okay. So I put my headphones back in and continue to listen to my music. Again, I feel this pensive stare on me. So I take my earbuds out once again and I turn to her and I say, excuse me, miss, I would really appreciate if you would stop staring at me. You're making me feel extremely uncomfortable. If you have something you'd like to ask me, please do so. And I was as respectful as possible because I've always been raised to respect your elders and this woman looked like she was in her 50s or 60s and she's just like oh, oh. and I'm like are you okay she's like I just I've just never seen anyone that looks like you before and I say okay and I put my earphones, my earbuds back in my ears, because like I said, I'm used to it. And I could tell she was probably a little off, so I just ignored her. And then she proceeds to get louder with her huffs and her puffs and her telling me that she's never seen anybody that looks like me. So I take my earbuds out once again, and I'm like, well... I don't even know why I apologized, but I'm like, ma'am, I'm sorry if my look is bothering you so much. And then she proceeds, proceeds to tell me that I was one of the ugliest things that she had ever seen in her entire life, and that I had to be of the devil because no one would make any, because, sorry, because God would not make anything that looked like me. And I was stunned. I've been called some names in my life, especially starting YouTube, and I was just floored and flabbergasted. New favorite word, flabbergasted. And I just, I was looking at her, and I'm like, Ex excuse me? And she's like, you're just so 
ugly. Oh my God, I've never seen anybody look like you. And for the, the rest of the bus ride, which was about 15, 20 minutes to the Great House Station, she proceeded to tell me how ugly she thought I was and that I was practically the spawn of Satan. And I think the thing that hurt the most is that everyone else heard it and were all staring at this woman and no one did anything about it, including myself, because I didn't know how to react. Like, I, 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 I was just, <coughs> excuse me, I was just, yeah, I was just dot, dot, dot. So even though that was a very, I would think it's short, it's short for me at least. Anyway, that story, or that instance or incident that happened in my life means a lot to me because I, it made me question myself. It made me question my values. It made me realize that I was not as confident as I thought I was in myself and just in general. Like, I just, I don't know. It really, it really hurt me. And as much as I don't want to admit this, but I will, when I got off the bus and I got to the Greyhound station when she was like further, far enough away from me, I started crying because I just felt so hideous. Like she said it so much, like that entire bus ride that I started questioning my values and my own self-worth. And I'm just like, you know what? Maybe, maybe I am this ugly. Maybe, I mean, I never thought I was the spawn of Satan, but I'm like, it's, Maybe it was just, it was just really powerful. Looking back on it, I think I'm just upset that I allowed her to give me so much power, like to upset me to the degree that she did. I mean, I still went on about my day, of course, but it just, it hurt me to no end, to know that people will really like it. Like, not like it, like that, like she was. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm pretty sure she was mentally unstable because no one in their right mind would say something like that. Maybe they were thinking it, but no one would ever come out and say something like that. And it was just, I mean, each experience that I have, I know makes me a stronger person, like, each day. But still, that was just, that was rough. That was really rough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I think I'm gonna try to incorporate more personal stories. And I just want you guys to know that this is not a pity party. This is not one of those kinds of videos. Like I said, I want to bring to light issues in this world, or at least in the disability community, um, the gay community, whatever. I just, I want to be one of the beacons that just talks about these stuff because now more than ever, we need it. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below and let me know some experiences you've ever had. Um, and please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to try to make more videos each week and I really enjoy doing this and I think I'm starting to slowly build a community. But with all that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and stay blessed. Goodbye.